first incident at the Malco. Is that uh, the Nissan not able to turn? That's interesting. You have to take it wider, my friend. First lap, that's a classic uh, Macau mistake. It's a while since we've seen um, a car park up at the Melco hairpin, and I Nobody. wonder, are we going to... Yeah. Nobody can get around right now. Can everybody find reverse gear? Because that's what's uh, required now. No overtaking at all into this section. It's a full yellow, full course yellow throughout the race, but um, it's uh, been the attitude. Another situation that the BMW, no, it's Farfus. Oh no, Robert Friends, in fact. Many of the GT races more. Marcello looks as though he's done it again. He's having a bar out there, his old. Uh... But there's uh, <coughs> there's more than one. And here's what happened. There you go. Well, I think he was already out of control before he turned in. The back end of that was coming round there. And well, maybe there's something down because that's a similar incident for both drivers, Van Tor and Chaminet. And, and and in fact. I've got a feeling that somebody's put something down there because, yeah, here comes Farfus. He manages to avoid it, but he sees the Porsche struck against the wall and then everybody comes to a halt. So, look, here's the braking point uh, coming into police and both cars were back end out as they came in to police under braking. So I just wonder if there's something down there that has caused them to be sideways because they managed to get through there without any problem up until now. Now, can they get him going? Come on, Van Tor did all the hard work and this is Dries Van Tor, his first outing well welcome to Macau <laughs> <laughs> yeah I suppose it's better to get that out of the way now yeah later in the weekend well, I'll be, I, I might you know it might be worth going down and finding out uh, or at least make a mental note to go and talk to him about what happened because it was an odd incident and it involved a very similar crash by both cars well, fortunately, with Marshall power, the car can get going. Warren Van Tor. And he was already out of control. He didn't just glance it. He took a chunk out of it. So Christopher Hasser has fallen foul to what Habsburg did this time last year, trying to take a, a tighter line. And there just is no title line, I'm afraid. And what I mean by that is everybody's going for these kind of laps. And that's what happens uh, because you're pushing too hard through the S's. And I'm afraid you are both at down at Lisboa. And it's Friends really pushing on. And I think Farfus may well have got the lead. Here comes. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be a big off. Oh, no. That is Van Tour. And it's another repeat of a similar accident he had. He jostled for position with Bamba. Van Thor paid the price, sadly. But he's okay. Yeah. Well, why don't we look at it with him? <laughs> oh, actually, no, we've got the bird's eye view. Yeah, and backwards into the Mandarin. And that's uh, not a way to go. Slightly depleted field. Now, watch this. Here comes. This is from the door, right? Watch Van Thor here. He comes up the inside. This is towards Mandarin. Touch! That's what happened, and out he goes, and then, whack. But, Tara is also, as he comes up here, now, whoa, big, big, I mean, literally bounced across the road, he was so lucky to save. He just uh, keeps his powder dry. Oh no, a mistake, a massive mistake by Rafael Marciello, and he goes straight on at uh, Lisboa. It was fastest lap, and he's just got another faster split. Here's another look at it. Back from Augusto's car, Augusto turns in, and straight on at Lisboa for Rafael Marciello. Well, that hey, let's have a look at what happened. Yeah, again, it's a similar sort of thing. Sideways or, or backwards, back end coming round. We saw it in the GTs, and we've now seen it in Formula 3. So that's uh, 28, Charles Young. Yeah, excuse me, I, I looked down the wrong way. It was uh, the Macau driver. 17. Oh, back. there's our first major accident involves a Macau driver, the number 28. That's the Dragon Racing, that's the old fella. Key roll. Another crash, this time at Lisboa. Driver's okay. Now you'll see these cranes whip in really quickly. And look how quickly they're able to get to them. Yellow flag at uh, oh. Lisboa once again. And that is Andrews. Or is it? Or are you just watching his time and that's a smash that by two seconds. Oh. Talking of smash, into the wall goes the number 19. Fenestrace. 
who had just gone third quickest. And it's come at a time. Let's have a look. I'll bet you the back end's out. Look at that. You know, <laughs> there's definitely a, a pattern forming here. It's brutal, isn't it? Yeah. And I I tell you what, if I were Tom Coronel, or my lot, fellow Brit is right there. And Mick Schumacher, champion of Europe, wanting to be king. Oh, it was the last corner. So, and big R bend. And literally <laughs> going all the way back down the pit lane, and almost in front of our commentary position. He's just about uh, 100 yards to our left. And it's flying lap, so he wanted to get the full exit. Look, watch how quickly he, yeah, he'll come round here. Look. Yeah, see, he's on the wrong line. Uh, but he's trying to get as much out of the corner. It's very similar to what Hats work. So he's taken too much out of our bend. It's a classic Macau mistake. Uh, and the, I think this was a start of his flying lap. Yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. Answer your absolutely, question. yeah. And so therefore he was uh, just at the exit of maternity. And yeah. See, uh, damage suspension, he's hit the wall. And so far it's eluded him. Oh, Mick, 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 where are you going? That's not the track, and he's gone forward. Luckily, I think, unscathed. But a big moment, and that could put paid to his qualifying if he can't get out of there. Somehow he's finding reverse, and I don't know if he's going to get in trouble for that, but either way, big moment for Mick. The car that we had not Okay, here's yet. the first one. Well, they tangled, it looks like it's kind of my lot. Yeah. Well, that's, here's... that's what it said. Well, it was one car involved, and I think he just hit the wall and bounced off. And no, sorry, that was down at Lisboa. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. but I, it didn't look like Eilat's car to me. No. Let's have a look. Here he comes. Well, great car control. Here we go. It's at Melko, actually. Oh, he's just hit the barrier at Melko. And banged it into the wall. Yeah, just under braking. Probably took his eye off the ball just slightly. He was on a rip, too. Look, he was... Uh, oh, that's Habsburg all over again, isn't it? Yep. And I lost. Whoa. Did you get the number? No. <laughs> Otto, who was involved in an incident, here it is at police was already up to seventh place by then and look at the reaction of Eilat as he comes around here in a moment everybody out there can he beat this man Callum Eilat just oh. okay incident in the last turn he's going to be investigated oh. after qualifying in what way I don't know uh, yeah okay so while we look at the damage and debris from the last turn crash, let's just confirm where we are. Dan Tictum, I should say. Here's another look at what happened. Ah, this is why we're under investigation, I think. Is that... Uh... Watch, watch, watch. Well, absolutely fantastic uh, when you see for the first time. Side by side, Island holds on. And uh, there's a brush. See a group. Oh, our first crash. Car number 21 is out, 16, and that is police. Oh, there's a dog on the track. Sitting here this morning. It's Miata. Ah, uh, it is Miata, okay. But look how quickly they got away with it. There's a little bit of debris down there. Look at the drive he's got here on here Island. Go. He's right there, and he takes the inside. Oh, squeezing him. That uh, could have ended in tears. That did. And uh, Joel Erickson putting uh, the two performances for me uh, are Daniel Tickton, completely faultless and just a sitting duck. Here is the dive into Lisboa, and let's see who first of all hits the wall. It was, well, that caused a, a concertina, didn't it, really? One crash, and now several drivers out. And... Hi, well done, my friend. Just makes things a bit more clear visibility-wise. That was a strange one, wasn't it? It was a bit put odd. the power on and spun it round. Everybody I've got to else. also draw attention to that last lap by Tictum. Talk about taking it to them. Contact with the barrier. It's an inevitable process. Oh, that was a hard hit. It and was he was never going to make that corner. And he looks as though he's uh, that taking the suspension out of that rear. Always fairly. Uh, well, that's, that's a fairly ob obvious one. Just before police down at the bottom of Moorish Hill. 
we've got a car stopped out on track and that is the number 23 car strips off each other there's already our first accident yeah so uh, from the seventh row of the grid that's display of racing around the gear oh, and a big mistake by the leader so a big sideways moment tires potentially not at their best at this stage in the race and providing a real gift of being able to close the gap for a flying low car fi wow what a moment and what a way to get away with it but low car fi has suddenly slowed so low car fi in second place strong now here's having a look at the crash that happened yes just uh, hitting the barriers there and, and then spinning it round. and we've had remarkably few of those incidents during this uh, race 10 laps complete 12 a green for a moment to round the final corner and see the chequered flag, the green flag, in fact, as they go across the line, and then the chequered flag, which means the win. Whoa! Um, one car slowing dramatically as he goes across the line. That's uh, number 23, but he was at the back anyway, and he's been slow all weekend, but he almost got in the way of several cars trying to vie for position there. So we went very briefly green, and uh, it was really an academic green flag that waved before the checker flag came out to mark the win and a very well deserved win as well lucky boy car number 50 takes the win from the outside of the front row of the grid Kong Kinchong takes victory in the Sun City Group Greater Bay Area Lotus Cup from the number 10 car. Well, I don't know if they did look at the checkered flag because they're still racing they, here. Well, that, they are, but the checkered flag has... It's definitely out. <laughs> most certainly, as far as the timing screen, gone out. Low car five doesn't care. He's going for the win. <laughs> a second win. Seven car of Lei Kit Meng, who has done a lot of racing here and are local roads, and therefore there are bumps and set up of the cars is turbo category. And what happened? Avoided the barrier on the right of the corner and hit the barrier on the left. Out of shape going into the corner and there's no way to avoid what? the barrier. One black. Let's have a look. As he comes around, oh yeah, that's why I say you can see the trail. He was already, the, the tail of that car had already been lost as he came through. And that is one of the fastest corners uh, worldwide in motor. ...of this event as we take a look at somebody going through Solitude S's in a mini. I told you to blow the bloody doors off. He almost did. Well, they would hit the walls and they would smash. Look at that. Oh, my word. That's oh, a dear. big so, accident. That's so, much bigger. Sorry. So that's yeah. not the one that we thought. No, that's a nasty. How the heck did he get to that position? So that's a car out of, rolled. That's, that's out of Fisherman's. There's uh, enjoy, enjoying the opportunity of getting on uh, TV. It's not an easy do, is it? That's no, really not. Well, look, get him out of there. Just. But, uh, he's got some work to do now, hasn't he? Oh, dear, oh, dear. This is not good to see. Such a shame. Remain. And it was quite bruising that outlap. That was one of the more striking liveries, um, which we've. It's incredible. Now he, you'll see crash. Classic car just, just missing out. And as Tom Coronel would say, watch out for the tyres of this boat. They will eat you. You could make the 45 car Whoop. from the Sun City Racing Team. Oh, not planned. And that's how it happened here. Food for you. Is oh, and uh, there were a couple of problems. That being the number 19. So the number 63 car, the car of Alex Bum. Side by side they go through the run down towards this. Getting everything right in the Sun City Racing Team Subaru Impreza. Then this uh, moment and there we are, it's one of the Coopers. The 23 Mini is trying to reverse, the rest of the field trying to thread their way through. And that was the number 6 car, the leaders of this race. And uh, that gives us an idea of the delamination of tyre and in turn that uh, throws off quite a bit of bodywork.
on that uh, very, very quick part of the circuit. Now, I'd almost hazard a guess that he's not going to make it around the track, but he might just go forward and get off at uh, oh. get out of the way. But look, he's just really adding insult to injury because he's now on the rim of that uh, left front and there's still bits and bobs of the car scraping along the ground probably going to fall off and I really do think he should be advised to, to kind of pull away and uh, let this race continue. It's like it being in the car in front of the safety car and uh, now pulls over to one side to allow the safety car through and therefore the rest of the field through. It's, uh, it's not a great demonstration, is it really? And uh, it makes life a little bit difficult for the rest of the field to thread their way past and not cause some damage to their tyres with uh, pieces of bodywork, sharp pieces of bodywork falling off the car all over the place. Yeah, and don't forget Poon, who... And now we've got another traffic jam. So we have a traffic jam at uh, Melco Hairpin. With getting around or not? Not really getting around. Three point turn required to get the car around Melco. Well, they don't overtake him because that would also be a breach of the rules. Yellow, 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 yeah. Full course yellow. No, either Lake It Meng or Wong Wan Long. Nor for the number six car of Learn. Yan Wang from the Sunbeam Racing Team from Macau. Kelvin Learn, unfortunately, going no further. Former touring car champion. Out of the car. In Asia. It's the number nine car of Lowman Kit. Another regular here. Uh, delivered. Yeah, no question about it. And a really good finish there also. Oh, blowing up on the line. Ended event. Hang on, let me sniff. We've got a bit of bodywork that's been collected by the number 12 car, the race winner, Sonny Wong. And he's got quite a bit of bodywork uh, under that left front uh, wheel as he makes his way around the circuit. Don't worry about it now, because all he's doing is, with haste, getting back to Park Fairmate to enjoy a podium celebration with the team. That tyre is not going to last. Absolutely not. Look, he's got uh, bodywork caught in the wheel arch for the left front and that's going to wear away the rubber he's almost determined because Time, as yeah. you say, Rob Huff completed that. Completely got it wrong at uh, Fisherman's. Yeah, not he, not he, too heavy he a hit. Took the hook. Yeah, not not too heavy a hit, which is good news. But the car. Let's have a look at what uh, transpired here. Here, look, here's a little bit of Ivan Muller-ness. Uh, Guerrero, if he didn't know it already, just got the true definition of being Mullered. Precarious place to put it. Because uh, it, ooh, yeah, well, he didn't, he just didn't turn, did he? He did not. You can see, so he, whoa, oh. that wasn't helpful. So he was just trying to clear the debris out, but it hasn't helped uh, the situation. It was my mistake. Lost the braking point a little bit, locked the front tires, and I was into the tires. What I can say, it's a mistake. Oh yeah. This time, Mao 
係呢幾年咧越嚟越受歡迎啊。咁亦都有啲傳聞啊，傳聞咋就係話咧，其實誒將來咧誒澳門杯又好啦，同埋其他重要賽事咧，亦都係有機會咧係跑呢個 TCL 嘅賽事噶。係啊，其實佢哋都有咁嘅意欲㗎啦，因為而家全世界都係玩緊 TCL 嘅賽事，每個國家都。Come on then, Andre. Let's get this thing either out of the way or out of the way. Yeah. I think Michelin's in fifth place. We know the oh. car is not going according to plan. That's the 23 car that's gone straight on at Lisboa. So that... first major corner that is, and it's going to be an easy ride. It should be for Timo Scheider. And that said, it's not an easy ride for the 68. And round he goes. That's Earl Asher, and a big pile up. Involving car number 74, Pepe Oriola, who we were on board with, 69. That's Jean-Carl Bernay, winner of yesterday's race, and already in a problem as we come to a grinding halt at the. is the battle behind. Oh, we've had an accident, he's okay. It's Panis. But already, Gurrieri trying to pull away at the front the first time of 11 laps. Somebody just scraping the wall just slightly, but only on his own. And here comes the 48. Muller thought about it. Out of control goes the 22. And down the escape road as well. Well, yeah, like I said, when you have a Marshall Post 13 incident and a little wiggle as they came down oh, to no. Lisboa. Now, the good news, I say good news, but they will get... Is that a heavy hit? Let's have a look. Yeah, just oh, slammed, into the, slammed into the tyres. And I'm sure it was all in slow motion for him because when you're on that angle, you just know you're not going to get round. 